Bittrex24 provides a collaboration project management and CRM software all in one and allows small businesses to get started with a free version of this powerful full feature all in one platform. Hey team, welcome back. And if you're joining us for the first time, then my name's Stuart. Thanks for popping along today. Now in this beginner's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through and help you get started with Bittrex24 so that you can further enhance the collaboration with your team, manage projects and customers all in one place for free. Now, before we jump into Bittrex24, and if you're still yet to subscribe, consider doing so, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out the way, let's show you how Bittrex24 can benefit your small business. <music> All right, let's get started with Bittrex24. Now, before we dive into Bittrex24, we just wanna discuss some of the important elements that we're gonna cover in this beginner's tutorial. First, we're gonna cover collaboration and communication for your teams within Bittrex24, and then we're gonna talk about project management and creating tasks and streamlining pipelines. Then we're gonna discuss customer relationship management. So how you can use Bittrex24 as a CRM. Now everything we're gonna to discuss today is in the free plan because this free plan is sufficient enough for small businesses. So with that covered, let's dive into it. Now what you need to do is head over to bittrex24.com and you'll arrive on this page. Then all we need to do is navigate over to register free and sign up to our free account. Now Bittrex24 will give you the option to sign up with your social accounts or you can sign up with your email or phone number. For the purpose of this beginner's tutorial, we're gonna sign up with Google because like we've said in previous tutorials, we like keeping everything in one place with our Google account. So we're gonna go ahead and select Google. And here we just wanna select the Google account that we wanna sign up with. Then here, just make sure you've selected the right account. Then come down here and feel free to tick or untick these options down here. I recommend keeping them ticked, especially if it's your first time using Bittrex24 because you'll receive information that will help you get the most out of Bittrex24. So for us, because this is just a tutorial, we're gonna leave those unticked and come down here and select register for free. And then just give Bittrex24 a moment to create your account. And just like that, we have created our Bittrex24 account. Now, before we dive into our dashboard and start going through all the good stuff, what you want to do is select the best option that represents what you want to achieve with Bittrex24. Is it to manage customers with a CRM? Is it to focus on project management? Or is it communication and collaboration within your team? Now you can come down here and decide this later if you like. You can change all these options later on. It's just gonna show what is important to your business and what's gonna show up first in your menu on your dashboard. So we're gonna go ahead and select I'll decide later. And here we are on our Bittrex24 dashboard. Okay, now on your Bittrex24 dashboard, this is where all the magic happens. Now, as you can see, the Bittrex24 dashboard is very attractive, it's very streamlined, and there's a lot going on. So what we're gonna do is break down some of the important elements you need to know getting started with Bittrex24. So the first thing we can see in front of us is the activity stream. Now your activity stream is essentially where you can engage with fellow employees, you can engage with people on your team, and you can essentially keep up to date with what's going on within Bittrex24 or what's going on within your organization. And you can come down here and you can write comments, you can tag people, you can leave emojis if you like, and attach elements. But as you can see, our activity feed is extremely dull at the moment because we don't have any team members to engage with. And that's the first thing we wanna do, is actually invite people to join us on Bittrex24 and help us with our communication, collaboration, project management, and CRM, customer relationship management. So with that said, let's go and add some team members. So all you need to do is navigate over to the left-hand side and come down to employees. Then here under company structure, we can actually structure different departments and manage where our employees go. So what we wanna do is navigate over to invite users 
And here I can invite using a link. So I can come down here and copy this link and send it directly to my team, my employees, and they can join Bitrix24 through that link. Or I can navigate over to invite using email or phone number and I can enter their email or phone number in here and then hit invite and invite them that way. Now there's other options over here, but we're just going to cover this in this beginner's tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and invite two of our employees. And as you can see, I've entered two employees. Then I'm going to come down here and click invite. And there we go, the invitation to join us on Bitrix24 has been sent. So I'm going to come down here and click close. You can invite more people if you like, but I'm going to click close. And here back under company structure, what we can do is actually create new departments. So at the moment we've got Bitrix, under this we've got accounts department, marketing department, sales department, and chat bots. Now I'm going to move this employee here and move them over to marketing department. Then what I can also do is come over here and get rid of this department. And that just leaves me with three departments. Now I can always edit these departments if I like, but I'm going to exit out of that one for now. And like I said before, I can create a new department, but I'm going to leave our company structure the way that it is, because this is just a tutorial. You can go ahead and customize this if you like. Then what I want you to do is navigate over to employees. And this is where you can just see all your employees that are part of Bitrix24. And this is where you can manage your employees. Again, you can go ahead and invite your employees over here. But at the moment, we've invited two employees, so we're gonna leave that as it is. So what we're gonna do is navigate back over to our menu and come down to activity stream. And here we are back on our activity stream. Now what you'll notice on the right hand side is we have an employee. If I click on this employee, you'll notice that Liam has joined our team. So remember we sent out multiple invitations to people to join us on Bitrix24 and Liam has accepted that invitation. Now what we can do is actually communicate with Liam. So what you can do is actually exit out of this one by clicking outside of that screen and what we can do is navigate over to chat and calls. And this is all about collaboration and communication, which is one of the most important elements we want to discuss with Bitrix24. So you can easily interact, engage, communicate with your internal teams. And as you can see, I've selected chat and calls and Liam's profile appears here. I can click on Liam and I can start communicating with him down here. So I can write messages directly to Liam. Now I'm just going to exit out of this one and next to messaging I can also come up here and video call Liam if I like. I can also select this drop down and I can voice call Liam if I don't want to use video. So there's many different ways that I can engage and communicate with my team members. I can also navigate over to this pencil icon here and I can start a personal chat with Liam or my other team members and then a private chat if I like or a public chat. So Bitrix24 allows you to engage, collaborate and communicate with your internal teams with complete ease and you can do that under chat and calls. So now that we've covered communication and collaboration, let's navigate over to tasks and projects. And here we are on tasks and projects within Bitrix24. This is essentially where you can manage projects, create tasks, and essentially make sure that everything is being complete within your organization. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, we have tasks. On the right hand side, we have projects. So these could be team projects. These are specific tasks. As you can see, we can create a new task if we like by just clicking new task. And here we can fill out the required information. We can add the name of this task, the particular task. We can attach files, media information here. We can add text. We can add a checklist if we like. And then we can add people that are involved in this particular task. Then we can add a deadline to this task if we require. So very straightforward. So what I'll do is come down here and cancel out of that one. Then you can see all your tasks over here. Now we haven't actually created any tasks. This is just automatically generated because we just created a new account. Then we have projects. If I select projects, this is going to generate all the projects that I'm currently involved in. Now, as you can see, again, these are automatically generated because we've just created this new account. You can go ahead and create a new project by navigating over to add a project. And here you can select a open project. So this project is visible to everyone. Anyone can become a project member or you can create a private project. 
This project is visible only to project members. Invitation is required to become a project member or if you're working on projects with clients and you want them to have access to this particular project, then you can create an external project. I could go ahead and click open project and here all I'll do is enter the project information which I'm going to quickly do now. And as you can see, I've just quickly entered in the information about this particular project. So once you've entered in that information, I've added a name. So web design, this is for a dentist client. Then I've added a description. I've also added project dates. The project owner is myself. I've got one employee working on this project. And once you've done that, you can come down here and click create project. And as you can see, I've created a new project. Now it's under work groups because we have multiple people involved in this project. Now I can go ahead and create a new task for this particular project if I like, but I'm gonna leave that as it is. So I'm gonna head back over to tasks and projects and navigate over to projects again. And then as you can see, we have that new project down here. Now I can also view these projects in two different layouts. I can view it as Kanban, if I click here, and as you can see, our new project is viewed as a Kanban, but we don't have any tasks at the moment, so it's gonna look quite dull at the moment. Uh, again, you can add tasks, and that's gonna appear down here, and you can drag them through this project workflow or this pipeline. Then we can navigate over to efficiency, and this is just another layout. Again, if you have cost associations with your tasks, or if you just prefer the statistical layout, you can go with this layout. But I'm gonna navigate back to projects, so we can have a look at all our projects there. So remember you have tasks on the left-hand side, and you have projects on the right. If you're working with a team, you'll notice that your projects will appear under work groups. So now that we've covered tasks, projects, and work groups, what we're gonna do is navigate over to CRM. And this is the final element we wanna cover with Bittrex 24. Now, Bittrex 24 actually provides a comprehensive CRM for small businesses. However, today we're not gonna dive into too much detail surrounding the CRM, as there's dozens of tutorials online that you can use to learn more about how the CRM works, but it's very straightforward and easy to use and learn. So for example, we have deals, and this is where you can easily create deals. For example, you can come down here and create a deal, or you can navigate over to add and create a deal here. So click add, and that's gonna bring up your new deal. And all you need to do is fill out the relevant information down here. Add your client, the company, and add information about this particular deal. And then all you need to do is come down and click save. But we're not gonna go through this process today, so we're gonna click cancel. And again, you can quickly add a deal in here by clicking quick deal. You can also do that for any of these different sections within your deal. For example, I could click add deal here, or over in progress. This is your sales pipeline. Now, you can always edit your sales pipeline if you want. So for example, at the moment it's new, create papers, invoice, in progress. What I would do is have prospect, lead, customer, conversion, or something like that. So depending on the way you structure your business, your sales pipeline, your sales process, you can modify your deal here. Then we have contacts up here, and this is essentially where you can just create and add your contacts. All you need to do is navigate across to add and select add, and this is where you can add the information about your new contact. So add that information down there, and then you can add them to your deal, depending on the sales stage that customer is at or that contact is at. So I can exit out of that one. I can also navigate over to companies, and it's the same process as contacts. All I would do is navigate over to companies, click add, and here I would add the information about this specific company. Again, I'm not gonna do this for now, so I'm gonna come down and click cancel. Now, like I said before, this free Bittrex plan provides a comprehensive serum for small businesses. And today we're not gonna dive into too much detail. This is just a beginner's tutorial to help you understand and get started with Bittrex 24. So you understand all the important features and elements that you can use to essentially streamline and optimize your small business. So remember in this tutorial, we've discussed collaboration and communication, tasks and project management, and customer relationship management. And those are the fundamentals that make Bittrex 24 such a powerful all-in-one platform 
especially for small businesses because they have a free plan. Now what we'll do in the near future is go into more details with each of those three fundamentals that we talked about within Bittrex 24, but today we've covered all the basics that you need to know to get started with Bittrex 24. I hope this Bittrex 24 tutorial helped you understand if this platform is right for you and your small business requirements. And that is it guys for this Bittrex tutorial for beginners. This tutorial should have helped you understand how to use Bittrex 24 to streamline collaboration, project management, and customer relationship management within your small business. Now, if you have any questions about this Bittrex tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value from this Bittrex tutorial, then leave a like. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.